We finally got all seven crystal stars. Corking. Now we can open the thousand year door. Ah, yes, but... We still don't know where Princess Peach is. Well, let's head back to Roadport. Hey, oh boy. Perhaps Professor Frankly can help find our dear Princess Peach, hmm? Well, hopefully. Hello, guys, a new queue, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. I actually want to go back to that old room, because there may or may not be secrets. I don't know. Oh, it's just flat locked. Okay, never mind. In the last episode, we beat, um, Cr Lord Crump. And, you know, got a crystal star. The last crystal star to me, in fact. But unfortunately, Princess Peach seems to still be missing. In this episode, hopefully we'll figure out where in the world she is. Maybe, I hope. It's honestly kind of getting... Gang, gang, kind of concerning, to be honest. But, uh, yeah. Nowhere else to go, but... In these other... Past these other rooms. Because they're... They all... They're all locked, apparently. They're... They're all locked. <laughs> that... That... Yeah, it's, like, back here, ain't it? I think. Or are they... Are they just all locked? Because I'm pretty sure I could have just used that teleporter. Maybe not. I don't know. Huh? That's very odd. Looks like if we... Looks as if we can't go the way, this way, old boy. You best look look for another way. Yeah, look, I'm, try, I'm trying my best with that. <laughs> oh, man. Only two minutes in, and I'm just unsure of what to do and where to go. Oh, man. Uh, I don't think we've been over here, actually. Where are we now, hmm? You. I'm Mario. Sorry. You not? It is pleasant to meet you. I am the main computer of this fortress. I am Tech. I must tell you something. That is why I brought you to this place. Princess Pe Peach. I am so s s s sorry. Most of my data was erased. And my main power unit was shut down. Now running on backup power with only cached memory. Trying to stay operational. M Mario, you know that Peach is not here, do you not? Please save. Peach, please, please. Princess Peach is of Grotus in the Palace of Chateau. I had to tell you that. But backup power fa failing. Mario, use the teleporter room to get back, 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 back to Rogueport. Teleporter room is on sub-level two of Fortress. I will release the room lock. Princess Peach is in the sh Prince Palace of Shadow. Please hurry. There's barely enough power left to activate the teleporter. I will. Cease all AI functions to send power to teleporter for you. But what will happen to you? When the power is all gone, I will cease to exist as an artificial consciousness. But if it will save Beach, 
I would g gladly do this. Because until I met Peach, I knew nothing of love. Do not worry about me. I am just a computer. Just a machine. Mario, you must save Peach. I ask you, please, and tell her. Thank you for me. We will, Tech. So, hurry to the teleporter room now. Mario, save her. Mario, we must save the princess for that tech fellow as well as ourselves. Oh, yeah. Farewell, Tech. We'll save her for you. Let's head on back up to room two, her sub level two, and use that teleporter. Man, this place sure is abandoned now, ain't it? <laughs> uh, wrong room. Yeah, use all that power to, um, to 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 go into that room. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Okay. Let's go ahead and use it. Beach. Goodbye. Crocty, I say, old boy. Did you just hear something? Doesn't work anymore. I wonder what happened. Hmm. Well, if it is it Mario? Over here, son. You brought the crystal stars back from the moon with you, didn't you? We sure did! What? Talking to my good ear. The Exonaut Fortress was on the moon? Ah, yes. So Princess Peach was there too, I assume? Assuredly. But the Exonaut boss took her and made for that dozen your door. Ah ha! Just a bit ago, I smelled the. Some rank air and went to the thousand year door. I saw a suspicious spell and Kate go through the door with Francis Peach. Pardon? What? What? Dear fellow, if you lead me to believe the seven, the door would open. Dear door, dear fellow, you led me to believe that the door would open with all seven crystal stars. Believe me, I know, but I'm quite certain of it. I saw with my own eyes. I have a very bad feeling about this. Very bad. Princess Peach is in danger. Time is short. We must go to the Thousand Year Door and rescue the princess. I'll run ahead and meet you there. Don't dwell. You must come immediately. So this seems rather drier. Uh, dude, frankly, how, how did you... Actually, oh, wait a minute. I didn't even notice the crack there. <laughs> Email? From who? Couldn't be Peach. Final issue? Oh no. And a ghost. Wow.
Man, what important info that is happening right now. Man. This is it, dear readers, our final issue. We here at AR and RDM in office have enjoyed every minute of bringing you of of our hard work to bring you the best news and features. May we meet again, perhaps sooner than you think. Wink, wink. They're, they're, they're just trying to make me think, oh, they're not going to spam me anymore, and then they're going to spam me some more out there. Ghost T, how are you, how are you mailing me? <laughs> Long time no spook. It is I, the spirit from the Excess Express. I bet you're wondering how an ethereal being like myself can actually type an email. Well, actually, I possess a train conductor to do it. Ooh. Don't worry, though. He's just doing fine. I think maybe I'll do my new diaries like this. Email's convenience, you know. And leaving the record of my effort life is cool. In a spiritual sense, I mean. So, good luck with your quest. It's not yet time for you to come over to my side. But whenever you do, I welcome you. Ooh. Farewell. Ghosty. From room four. I'm, sh I'm sure they're buddy buddying around. Right? Totally. That's not weird at all. Anyway, before we head off to the door, there is a few things I want to do real quick. Going around up top here. First, I would very much like to, you know, boost my partners like I should have before going to the moon. Let's see. Vivian, both up. Vivian. Shashubi, Shashubi. Shapow. Wow, wow, wow. There we go. And I, I should have like three more times to buff people. You know, I could just be a jerk and just not have Flurry buff powered up at all. <laughs> I, I do believe um, Smoosh on Miss Mouse is actually a really good healing move. I don't know if I'll really use it, though. Or get a chance to show it off. Maybe I will, I don't know. <laughs> there we go. Fancy powers. Um. You know what? I'm not gonna be a jerk. I'm actually gonna power up Flurry. She, she, she's been throughout this entire adventure with her power up, and barely me ever using her. Besides Chapter Two, she deserves something. I feel bad. <laughs> I'll probably go ahead and power up, um, Gumbella after this. Let's see. Ah, wait, no. So this would technically mean I believe there would be, like, six more Shine Sprites throughout the world. How- wherever they are, though, I cannot assure you I know at all. I- I would not know. <laughs> I assume there's like six more. I could be totally wrong. The game could be weird and just like have like, I don't know, weird number like five. <laughs> oh no, that would be really weird. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and look around for good old Luigi because I'm certain he is somewhere around here. Wherever he is, I have no idea. There is something I want to try and get from this guy though. My gosh. Oh, yeah, uh, this is a badge. It increases your f attack by five whenever Mario's at literally one HP. Um, if you know how to get to Mario, Mario to one HP and can keep him from dying, I've seen people use it in a way that makes it look incredible. But I am not one of those people who can do that, so, you know. Can we tell them the bad news? We're trying. Hey, Luigi. Let's see, adventures. Oh, of course, me. I'm done questioning for, questing for now. 
Yep, I scaled Hate Song Tower the other day and rescued the fair Princess Eclair. That's one adventure I'm never gonna forget. Nope, it was just way too exciting. It's just, it was just bonkers, bro. You wanna hear about it? It's a pretty long story. We need to end this adventure. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, and this part is just crazy, but here goes. Hate Song Tower stands atop a jagged, unclimbable cliff beyond the northernmost sea. The wind whistles down the, the, the cliff, howling like banshees singing songs of hate. People say it's pretty much the scariest place in the world, and I had to go there. Locking out the bone-chilling house, I somehow managed to reach the tower's doors. I was terrified, but dots of Princess Claire mourned my heart and gave me the tower. All my compassion... Can't, all my companions felt the same way. They were with me to the bitter end. I'm surprised they all hung around with you, to be honest. A door to the tower swung oh, oh, slowly open to reveal inconceivable darkness. I tried to call out Princess Claire's name, but I couldn't even breathe because as I strained my eyes in the darkness, I saw the most terrifying beast of all. The Chestnut King himself appeared before me. He was monstrous and drooling. Pudding, pu, pu, pudding. Puddles of toxic goo dripped from his mouth, melting the very ground at our feet. I couldn't stop shaking, but I gritted my teeth and faced the evil beast dead on. I dodged the king's fangs, jumped onto his chest, and gave him a hammer whack. My swing split the air and the crap. And his wings split the air and crashed dead center into the Chestnut King's skull. Hope, po hope powered me up, bro. I was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the king and I was loving it. This is it, I thought. I can win this. I'll risk it all on my next blow. I gripped my hair tight and waited for my moat. The tension stung me. Swack! The ocean winds raged against the tower's windows. With that sound as my call to battle, I advanced with my with no mercy in my heart. And then and then I beat him. I defeated the chest chestnut king. An even worse beast came next. A nightmare thing. I beat it too. I rescued Princess Claire. It was all over. And then I came back to record and had a light lunch. And that's about it. Huh? You think there's still more to the story than that? Not at all. That's it. That's the whole story of the quest for Princess Claire. The end. But my adventure won't end here, bro. They'll never end. Best ending! Best ending to any story ever! <laughs> okay. Hey, you, remember me? It's me, Bluey. Man, the last spell was Harry. You have no idea. I was burnt to Chris, but I was actually kind of relieved. Can you believe that? But if you want the whole story, you should just ask Luigi here. <laughs> wow. Bluey's actually kind of show of Luigi. Who would have dunk it? Huh, so, anyway, uh, before I end off the episode here, I want to do something if it, if the game will be nice and give it to me. I checked the list of what this guy ha can have, and each time you leave this area, he has brand new items. So, I'm going to hope that, you know, he is very nice to me and, you know, gives me... A new set of items, even though that new list looked exactly the shape the same. That doesn't fill me with confidence. Um, I don't know what. Might 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 as well buy the batch I'm never gonna use. Uh. Well, uh, I could have sworn that I could just like leave this area and go back, and he would have a new stock. But maybe I was wrong. If I'm wrong, then, you know. Huh. Okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe I need to, like, go underground for it to refresh. Guess I'll see you in a second. Bye, suckers! Yeah, 
Yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, that, that's some good stuff. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna grab these real fast. Hopefully these don't make me go broke to not actually be able to afford the thing that I'm going for. But, you know. Because I actually, before I go out, I, I'm... I want to do... I, I might as well do this. Because it, it can be a pretty handy item. If we go to Zesty and have her mix up an Ultra Shroom and Jam and Jelly, you get something pretty nice. You get a Jelly Ultra, which is basically combined the two items. It restores your FP and HP by 50, which is pretty much the max, almost, basically. But, yeah. It's a nice uh, ultimate healing item if you really wanted it. There we go! There is the W emblem, which takes 360 coins. Kind of expensive, but you know, whatever. Now, if you equip this W emblem, uh, you have Lario's colors. Wah! 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 No, I, I I got my bros mixed up. No. Wah! Wah, 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 wah. So I guess I'm technically not wrong because if you actually equip both the W emblem and the L emblem at the same time... Wah! Wah! Yeah, you get, um, Waluigi colors. That famous character everyone loves. Waluigi's oh, pretty cool to be honest. <laughs> anyway, um... Yeah. Uh-uh. <laughs> People are gonna hate me, but I'm not gonna have them equipped. I'm sorry. Anyway, next time on Let's Play Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door, we head off for the legendary Thousand Year Door. See you guys then.